guys, what's up? Stark here, and today I'm going to go over this little technique for not degraining, but more so regraining. And I'm going to start off by saying this is not the end all be all. This probably isn't even the first in line one, but it's kind of neat. And this is how you will apply the grain from your existing footage to things that are not existing. So, for instance, I made this, <laughs> I got this red footage and escape. And it says adventure. And this is just a, I don't know, fake commercial looking thing that I threw together type thing. But uh, this is 2K and I will show you the issue of what I'm talking about. And you're probably like, oh, who cares? But this is a huge deal actually. So let me just start by explaining what I'm talking about. So I don't know the compression with YouTube. So I'm gonna try to find like a good nice sort of uh, mid-channel type thing color you could see that this guy the uh, and this is element 3d in with but actually here we go here's a good should have just done this in the first place go to the blue channel you can see that there's noise okay in here all right now with cg stuff or element there is nothing because it's not recorded it's just it's perfect that's the problem okay so what we need to do is match the grain that this has okay and then put it on here and again this is not the end all be all but it's a, it's a neat technique just to do it quickly without having to run through the analyzing the grain and doing all of that so it's just good to have in your pocket so i'm going to go to rgb and I'm going to call myself out because in the uh, color matching, I showed you how to do that, but let's see, I'm using the color matcher just to quickly get stuff. All right. So uh, this is a very simple, just show you track. I just used the thing and it did a great track of the footage. So, okay. So here we go. So the first thing we have to do is, I'm saying this in quotations, degrain or denoise our footage. Okay, so I'm just gonna use denoiser three. Now I noticed, and I'm doing this on the, um, let's just call this the plate. Now here's the thing. I noticed that the default is way too, way too high. Like look, look at this. It's like posturizing it and stuff. But for some reason, I noticed just zeroing out everything did a great job. So look, just look at this window. And even that's still a little too high, but you know, whatever. And I'll go to the blue channel because I don't trust the compression. So there you can see the difference. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate this layer and then we're going to just call this our our grain comp okay so we'll call this yeah grain comp cool now we're going to go in here okay and i'm going to go back sorry turn this guy on we're going to copy it anyways we're going to duplicate this and then we're gonna do this. Okay, so we are zeroing it out and then we're not. Okay, so here's what is neat about this. I will just, I, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen this, you've ever been trying to align something. I'm gonna turn this off, but we're gonna go in and go to subtract, okay? So if you ever have to align stuff to where you have like two of the exact same things, use this because once you go off, Okay, so I'm just hitting my arrow key. It's gonna show you the colors because it's just subtracting one from the other. So if you subtract and you get totally black, then guess what? You're completely aligned. Now, here's the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that you need to be in 32-bit linear, which you should be anyways. And the reason for that is because, oh, sorry. Let me turn on the, the grain. I'll explain what's happening. So. So we're denoising it, okay? And that's at 11, and then we'll do this, and I turn this way up. Now the reason you're starting to get 
the, and this is why you need to be in 32 mode because you're getting because it goes into the negative okay of the exposure but you're getting the the difference so essentially what's happening is let's go to zero here so there's nothing on here okay turn it back on go to normal so there's technically a difference okay and because this is subtracting it, the difference is that it's supposed to be taking the grain out. So all this one, if this has grain and this one doesn't, then the difference should just be the grain or the noise. Okay, so let's go to subtract. All right. So now that we have that, and then start turning it up, you'll start to see all the compression noise and all of that. And then I'll show you why this is not the perfect solution either. So we're gonna like, it's a good frame. I will go here, let's call that. So now it's not technically black. We're gonna go over here and we're left with this and we'll go to full, okay? Now, because we are only left with grain in quotations technically, all we need to do is set this to add mode, okay? So now what's gonna happen is we look at this and you can actually see where the issue is, but I'll point it out if you don't. Now everything below this has grain, including the original footage. So we got our grain back. But you can see it's still not, it's not perfect, all right? So no grain, grain, go to the blue channel. This is degrained. This is regrain, and then let's just I'll pull the thing back on and compare the original. So you can see that it is different, and this is gonna. I would say the quality is gonna sort of depend on your denoiser. That's gonna help. Cause, uh, yeah, I. And this is two K, and this is with everything off. So if you do this, it's just gonna sharpen everything. So let's go up, off, on. Okay, now let me point out the problem. So the problem is that because it's using the noise and it's not just sampling the grain to recreate it, do you see, if you look right here, you can see this road streak, okay? Or these little, just from it. And that's that's the noise that is getting applied to it. You can even see the part of the car in here, all right? So in this situation, if you were recording this, if you would, let's say, let's just record like a, a blank wall or something. Ideally, you'd want it to be like completely neutral and gray, but it would it would do that. But let's turn this on. So I'm on full, and let's go back to our RGB. Just move ahead to like here, and let's go to the blue channel. And you can see that's picking up the noise, but it's it's neat, right? So now you have it degrained and regrained, and then we will just, okay, so here we go. So here's the thing in full, and you can see the problems over here. Now, what I would say that I would actually do is I would just pre-comp all of my 3D elements, okay? As long as everything's not in like a blending mode, all of that, just, you know, prepare for that. And then what I would do is just use the grain like in an adjustment layer so it's only applied to that so you'd still have to degrain the footage but you wouldn't have to it wouldn't be applied to it so like you could see how like let's go over here how bad this looks so turn it off you can see all that detail we're losing okay so that's just the heads up and again uh this is not an end-all be-all and this is probably not even the ideal shot to use this on. But I thought it was interesting and I thought you get a lot of help out of it. So I guess I just have to ask you guys to consider subscribing because that helps me out. So I don't want to do that. I hate saying that and like smash the like button or whatever. I don't know. But if you could subscribe, it helps. So, so there we go. And I know this was a very like over overly complex thing just to show this, but it's very useful and 
I'm sure you'll find yourself in some situation where this is an actual useful technique, if, even if it's a few frames long. Okay, it's just good enough to know. So I guess that's all, guys. And so I'll see you next time. And I hope this helps you guys out. So thanks. Later.